Edema, um, yeah, what is pulmonary edema? Please review at this point. <coughs> okay. Adrian, what's uh, one cause of pulmonary edema? It is a lot of gas exchange. Gas exchange. What, 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 uh, what's the cause of pulmonary edema? And what, what is something that can make pulmonary edema happen? One's medical, one's an incident. Sense though, Adrian, that actually makes sense. That's just trauma. I'm probably using the medical, but that actually is. Uh, Nate, um, another scenario where that would cause pulmonary edema and not medical and not trauma. Fluid buildup from. Fluid buildup from, build from well, either pedal or sacroiliac and which, into the lungs. So that, you said it's heart failure. No, so that's not what heart failure is. Yeah. Heart failure causes those. What about what did Emmanuel say earlier? The cause of pulmonary edema? Drowning. Drowning. That's what I was looking for. There's actually one that does cause pulmonary edema that I didn't state. Um, and that is going to be pneumonia. So pneumonia oh, nice. can also lead to pulmonary edema. I can start on that right now. Who can tell me what pneumonia is? No, so no, pneumonia can cause liquid buildup, pulmonary edema. But what is pneumonia itself? Infection. It's an infection. So if you ever got cut, have you ever seen an infection before anybody? Yeah. It gets swollen, right? Mm -hmm. It gets all pussy. So that's, when you have um, pneumonia, you have that in your lungs. So anytime you have physical trauma anywhere, or you have an infection, fluid is gonna rush to that site. I'm just assuming that the, the infection is here. Fluid is gonna rush to that site. So fluid that rushes to that site brings properties that's gonna help recover the tissue, all right? So with pulmonary edema, fluid is rushing to where the infection is because that fluid has properties that's gonna help kill, like white blood cells that's gonna help kill the bacteria. Unfortunately, that fluid in the lungs is bad and causes pulmonary edema. So it's not the infection itself that's really killing the patient, it's the fluid that's attracting to help recover that area, if that makes any sense. So I would write that down to uh, someone that has a uh, Um, usually, I now I can't think of it. Pneumonia is caused from different things, man. It could. It's it, just still like a, like how you said, like a, a cut or something inside. You can inhale like bacteria. That bacteria itself can cause pneumonia, a fungus. Um, sometimes even like if you have a cold, and you have too much mucus buildup, what does mucus carry? What's the the job of mucus? To, to get those toxins and take them out. Sometimes if that mucus gets get stuck somewhere, it can cause pneumonia itself. So it could be a, a lot of different things that cause pneumonia, to be honest. So pulmonary edema, here's your verbiage for CHF. Again, abnormal accumulation of fluid. Most, the biggest culprit is your CHF, congestive heart failure. Um, we talked about what's going on with that. But if you guys want to write that down, I, I write that down.